now going to create the uh, metal supports so I'm going to click off the object and go back to the left viewport I'm just going to click on this back part and press Alt X and that will make that part of the object transparent I'm then going to create a new cylinder just roughly finding the center point here and drawing that out about the right size I'm actually going to go just a little bit smaller and drag up a little bit just to get a bit of height I'm then going to go to the front view press W to go to the move tool and I'm just going to move that object out here and I'm going to adjust the height so it goes out to the picture uh, I'm also going to change the sides to 12 and I'm also going to add the material to the object while I'm still in the front view I'm going to go back to the create panel click on box and I'm just going to create a box that follows the shape down here and just drag straight up and then right clicking to deselect the box tool I'm then going to once again choose the box tool and I'm going to create a box for the left side here and dragging that up a little bit and right clicking now that I've made those objects I'm going to go to the left view move this object across and going back to the modify panel I'm just going to adjust the height just so it lines up with the concept going to click on the sidewall now and I'm just going to move that back so it lines up over here and then I'm going to adjust the height so that's sitting on the edge here from here I'm going to right click on the box change it to an editable poly click on the polygon selection clicking on this top polygon going back to the left view pressing L and I'm going to use the extrude settings again and I'm just going to adjust this so it lines up with this uh, corner point up here I'm going to press the tick and then I'm going to do this one more time until this lines up with this top line pressing the tick one more time and now we're going to shape the side wall so we're going to vertex mode click and drag to select these top vertices going on the X axis we're going to drag it to the right until we see the picture then we're going to do the same for these vertices just like that and now we're going to do the same for the right hand side so just moving those into position and the same over here just turning off vertex selection now and going to a perspective camera and just checking out that shape selecting these two objects pressing M and adding the material to the selection I'm now going to go to the front view and just click on this sidewall and change this to an editable poly as well I'm going to use the edge selection pressing perspective to rotate around a little bit and choosing this edge going back to the front view 
and using chamfer till we add a bevel to the object and then pressing the tick button. Going to the left view, then selecting the side wall, I'm going to press Alt and X on this object as well, just so we can see through it. Clicking on the little side support, holding Shift and clicking and dragging on the X axis just till it lines up with the concept and choosing a copy. So the last piece we have to add in for the side wall is this metal ring that runs around here. I'm just going to press F3 to go into wireframe mode and just click on this object. Uh, we're just going to use its center as a reference point. So going back over to create and then cylinder. Just going to find the center point. Clicking out and matching the concept again. Dragging up and clicking one more time. And then right clicking to go off the cylinder tool. I'm then going to go to the top view zoom in a little bit and I'm going to line this up so it's sticking out a little bit on the right hand side um, and then also changing the height so it sticks out on the other side as well. From here I'm going to go to the perspective camera clicking on the back of the barrel and pressing Alt X to turn off transparent mode and the same thing for the side wall. I'm now going to attach this ring and the two side supports and also choosing this part of the cannon barrel and then right click to turn off attach. So now we want to move the pivot point so it's on the center of the object. Uh, so when we do a mirror, uh, it'll go over to the correct place. So I'm going to go over to the hierarchy panel, click on effect pivot only, and then I'm going to right click on the move button, and then right click on the up and down arrows just to the right of these numbers. Just like that. Closing that and turning off effect pivot only and now when I go up and click on mirror you can see we've got a copy on either side make sure you have copy selected click OK and there's the two side walls finished going to go back to the left view now clicking on the front of the barrel and pressing Alt X. I'm going to go up to the Create panel, choose Box, and I'm going to click and drag the side of the box and letting go and then dragging up one more time and clicking. I'm then going to right click to turn off the box tool and then go to the front view. going to zoom in on this area, move this prop to the right here, changing the height to match up to the other side, and I'm just going to move this down just a little bit so it's not clipping through the barrel. I'm going to press M and apply a material to that selection. Pressing P for perspective one more time, zooming out, clicking back on the barrel and pressing Alt X. So the only thing we have to do now is just add the spikes onto the front and the way we're going to do this is by going to the top view going to press Alt X one more time 
and I'm going to do the same for the base and also for the prop. So we can see our circles now. Go up to the create panel, choose a cylinder, pick about halfway and just drag that out and then drag that up. Clicking one more time, um, I'm going to change the sides to 8 this time and then I'm just going to draw another one for the other spike letting go and dragging up a little bit right clicking to turn off the cylinder tool going to the left view again moving them both up into position We want to move them so the middle vertice is just poking underneath the uh, white area there. We can now turn the transparency off for these objects, so pressing Alt X and then clicking back on our front spike, go into the modify panel right-clicking on cylinder and turning on editable poly. We're going to choose the top polygon, so we're going to perspective, clicking on that and then pressing the collapse button, turning the polygon mode off, selecting the back spike, doing the same thing, going to editable poly, Clicking on the top, collapse, this time we'll choose the vertex selection, choosing the top vertice, going to the left view one more time, and we'll just match these up. One last time, going to perspective. Selecting these two objects, pressing the material button, applying that same material to those objects. Uh, so that's pretty much the shape of the cannon completed. But let's just do a tiny bit of cleaning up before we'll say it's completely finished. When we created Let's take this object as an example, uh, this box. Uh, if I change this to an editable poly, and then I go to the polygon selection mode, if I rotate the camera and look under the object like this, pressing F3, there's a polygon sitting just under here that the player is never going to see. Uh, so I'll just go through and delete that polygon and then I'll click on the side wall and remove the polygon there holding control selecting these ones as well pressing delete choosing the right wall making the same selection delete and I'm also going to do it for the polygon just sitting underneath the spikes and now that we have that all cleaned up uh, come back up here and turn our shadows back on with our ambient occlusion and let's change the environment ambient uh, let's just make it a little bit brighter and there you go there's our finished canon model